So a chaotic football match between Morocco and Argentina kicked off the Paris Olympics today. The men's match was suspended when unruly fans rushed the field to protest a game-tying goal deep into injury time. Now, that goal was later ruled offside. That was by VAR, a video review, two hours later. And with no fans in the stadium, the match finished with Morocco beating Argentina. 2-1. Now, today's kickoff also marks the use of new AI technology from the company Intel. It's partnered with the Paris Games on a series of programs, including one that helps automatically generate highlight reels for chosen events. Sarah Vickers is the head of Intel's Olympic and Paralympic Games program, and she joins me now from Paris. I mean, the idea about AI sounds good, but we all want to know what's in it for us, right, especially with this kind of immediacy. So you guys are aiming to customize the broadcast experience here. How are you able to do that? So traditionally, broadcast has been very manually done and when you think about highlights. So you were really limited by the number of people that you could have working on highlights. With AI, we're able to create thousands, endless amounts of highlights. So you can really get that customized experience for the sport that you love, for the country you're from. So we're getting highlights to people around the world that maybe didn't get them before or for sports that maybe didn't get the love as some of the high profile sports. So we're really bringing AI everywhere with this solution. And how will people be able to access this in terms of it being uh, dispersed? I mean, you are partnering partnering with broadcasters. Which ones and, and what mode will that be broadcast in? So the way we work is we work with Olympic Broadcasting Services, and they then give those highlights and those opportunities to the media rights holders. So there's different rights holders around the world, like NBC in the U.S., and they will then use that service to create highlights for their fans. What will viewers actually see, though? Because I think there has been this kind of customization has been done. I mean, there are some viewers uh, on demand. You can use it using your remote. What will be different about this experience? I think it's just the vastness of it and the opportunity that there's going to be almost anything. What they'll see will really depend because they'll start to create highlights based on what viewing patterns are and what they're going to see. So it could be if you're starting to see trends, you're starting to see something interesting in the stands, you can start to create new highlights based on that. So there's really the opportunities are endless. So I think it's really just that opportunity that fans are going to get something that, that is really meaningful to them. So, for example, they can pick a sport that they like, say it's archery. They might not have been able to get those highlights before. Now they can really see those special moments that they would never have seen before. And so this will lead to a more tailored Olympic experience, do you think? I mean, how do you see this rolling out in Olympic Games to come? I think so. I think fans are becoming more demanding on how their content is um, delivered to them. So they want that customized, personalized experience. I think with AI technology, that's going to continue to evolve and continue to be something that people are expecting. I'd also say the demand um, for real data is going to continue and data requires so much compute if you want real time data that it requires processing power and that's where we can help. And when we talk about that though, in terms of me just being a viewer sitting at home, sure. when we talk about AI, what will it do though for my experience? I mean, people have been talking about things like virtual reality for a while. They've been talking sure. about certainly how you can track the sport. I mean, in sports lends itself specifically to AI in a very exciting way. I think sometimes the users won't really realize that it's AI that's helped processing that information. So what's going to happen is if you think about broadcast and you think about data analytics, having that overlay or the ability to give that data really quickly requires AI to make that happen. So I think we have to help the, the user understand that. But to the viewer at home, it's just enhancing their experience. Right. Uh, well, we all await that. As you said, there are some sports that people are very keen about, but they don't exactly get the spotlight during the Olympics. So we're all excited for Absolutely. the games to come. Sarah Vickers for us. Thanks so much and enjoy the games. Thanks for having me.